Hey guys, it's Forex James. Welcome back to my channel. I've been away for a while. This is my first video in a long time. And I'm here to share with you an exciting video today. And I've called it the number one trading style recommended for beginners. Now, obviously this is my own opinion. Okay, and one of my favorite style as well. So not everyone is going to agree with me that it's the best style out there of trading. Okay, but regardless, I will show you the pros and cons of this style of trading. And I hope that you can apply it to your own trading, and make some good trades. So a few months ago, I made a video called the four types of trades you need to know. Okay, basically, trades come down to four categories and they are reversal, trend continuation, a range play, or a breakout, okay? Those of you who have not watched this video, I highly recommend it, just for you to be able to get a feel for the different types of styles of trading, okay? And for this video today, the number one style that I recommend for beginners is breakout trading. And we'll now start our discussion to why I think it's the best style to start off with. Okay, let's start off with talking about what I like about breakout trading. Okay, it leaves the guesswork behind. What do I mean by this? Okay, you've probably heard of the saying, trade what you see and not what you think or what you feel. Okay, and this is what it is. Letting price prove itself to you in which way it's trying to go to. So you don't have to guess where price is trying to go, but rather follow when it chooses to go that way. Let's talk about a typical situation here of an uptrend. Okay. Bulls are going strong, making higher highs and higher lows. Bears jumped in. Bulls became weaker. Bears are hesitant. Bulls are trying to push higher. And thus, the range forms. Okay? Now, this could be a reversal or a continuation to the upside. Now, a lot of times I've said that the upper time frames dictate the lower ones. Okay, so what I do is if this is showing on my M15, for example, I look at the H1 or the H4 to get a better understanding of where price will likely to go next. Okay, when I trade breakouts in the M15, I trade it intraday, I still use my upper time frame to give me that direction bias. But let me tell you something, guys. A lot of times, these upper time frames give you mixed signals, okay? And that's just the reality. The daily might be telling you that it's going to go up. The H4 might say otherwise, okay? And the H1 is somewhere in between. It's not giving you any clear signals. I use price section uh, for my bias, just FYI. I'm not gonna go through what I look for in my direction bias in this video. It's available in my other videos. But with this scenario here, if you were to use this bias, it's gonna slightly confuse you. So what I do in this case is simply put a buy stop here and a sell stop here. And I'm going to let price prove itself to me. If it breaks the downside, it might not be a big move to the downside, which may lower lows than this point. But as long as it's enough for me to protect my position, move my stop loss to break even, it's good enough. Okay, there's still a small number of pips to be made here because 
what may happen is that this is just a pullback of the bigger time frame and it continues to go to the upside okay so this might be a small breakout to the downside which is just a pullback on the upper time frame but regardless I'm gonna take it anyway because that's what price is telling me to do now in other examples price may give you more clues if it were to form some sort of a descending triangle there are many types of ranges guys um, the most common one that I use is just the horizontal lines um, I've also made a video showing you guys how I just use horizontal lines to trade off and in my price section course I went through to all the different types of ranges that the market may form okay I'm not gonna go through them all here but basically if it shows you a descending triangle it tells you that price is likely to break to the downside why okay this price section tells you that the bears are gaining strength because it's pushing because it's making lower highs right common sense and the bulls are not holding up too well okay but that does not prevent the possibility of it breaking to the upside okay so again I'm gonna let price tell me what to do so what would I do sell stop and a buy stop here okay so either way I'll be able to make pips out of this move regardless it breaks the upside or to the downside so if you want to trade breakouts guys what you got to do is learn to identify ranges right remember the market ranges most of the time and trends less of the time okay so it shouldn't be too hard for the train eye to spot the ranges it's in right now okay the other thing that I like about breakout is the momentum okay so First, it leaves the guesswork behind. Price would just tell you what it's going to do, and you should just follow it instead of guessing. Second is the breakout momentum that occurs. So when a price is in a range, it usually stays this way for a period of time. And the longer the range, the bigger the breakout. So ask yourself, would you rather be trading ranges, taking 20 pips here and there, which you can, okay, because it gives you um, lots of setups here, opportunities to trade long and short, right? Or would you rather wait for a bigger move that happens in a shorter period of time? Okay, let's say this is an 80 pip breakout, all right? So you could be making 20 pips here and there, possibly accumulating a lot of pips as well. Or would you rather sit and wait for it to break to the upside and make you 80 pips in a fairly short period of time? Okay. So hence, this is why lately I've been trading breakouts intraday and I've just been trying to capture the day's move. And just to be fair, let's talk about the cons of breakout trading. Do you guys know what that is? It's the R2R. Okay, risk to reward. Which is not great. I'll be honest with you. So technically, if you were to enter a buy stop here, the stop loss has to be here. Okay, because you have to place a stop loss at the point where if it gets hit the reason for you to be long no longer exists okay so that means 
if price were to hit your buy stop and it hover slightly before breaking to the upside and it hits a stop loss prematurely if you had placed it over here before taking off to the upside then there's no point of placing a stop loss here okay so typically for breakouts I'd be happy with a one-to-one -one or one-to-two risk to reward ratio so what you're essentially doing is you're giving up your risk to reward to a higher win rate so expect to win more often than not but your winners are not gonna be a 3 to 1 or 5 to 1 okay of course this varies case to case but in general this is why I dislike breakout trading okay in some cases though when it's a prolonged period of range um, the breakout can be so huge all you need to do is just trail your stops along this big move to the upside okay, trail and trail and trail and in those times um, you'd be able to do better than a one to two okay don't expect all breakouts to shoot to the sky like this okay it's now time for us to look at some real charts which is everybody's favorite part of course <laughs> um, let's take a look at the EU okay it's uh, it's a Sunday as I'm recording this video and this was captured last Friday so uh, right before the market closes on Friday start with the daily downtrend falls into a range okay so this high has surpasses this high so clearly there is a push to the upside okay and looking at hot price rejected the support line bulls are jumping in here trying to push prices higher okay it hasn't surpassed this point yet so on the h4 um, i'm using four time frames so that i'll be able to get different perspectives of what's going on in each time frame on the h4 the same range here which I've drawn shows a fake out to the upside. Okay, tries to break to the upside, short lift prices, return inside the range. Okay, but it's formed an ascending triangle. You guys see that? Hold on. Okay, will it break to the upside? I don't know maybe on the h1 i've drawn two horizontal lines you could also draw an ascending triangle um and on the m15 this is where i execute my day trades on i've placed a buy stop on the highs of this i've spotted another range here okay so i've placed a buy stop here and a sell stop here the lower side and there's another buy stop on the highs of the h1's range all right so what happens this happens here my first buy stop was triggered right here okay this turned out to be a loss trade for me so whenever this trade is going in my favor i would slowly trail my stop loss all right i get stopped out because uh, it went in my favor for a bit here but it never touched the higher buy stop that i had this one okay it touched my uh the lower one did this and it just returned to the range and heads lower as you can see here but what happens here I went into sell so in this case I get stopped out first okay small loss I was able to make it back 
in this sell trade here. Okay, for net profit. So you cannot be afraid of taking the next setup. And this is, of course, a psychological barrier that you have to overcome. Okay, some people are afraid of getting a loss, some are revengeful. Okay, but just trade normally as you would follow your setups and make one good trade after another. Stopped out here and a winner here, which exceeds the losses. Next example, it's on the GU. Okay, daily showing an up move, uptrend. The H4 uh, price broke out of this H4 range here. Okay, I was more bullish on the GU than on the EU because it's uh, a breakout of the standing triangle on the H4. So I placed a buy stop on the H1 on the highs here and a sell stop on the bottom. And we will see what happened next. This happened, guys. It's similar to the EU. It hits the buy stop over here. Moved in my favor to the upside. In the GU's case, I've trailed my stops to, uh, I still took a loss, but it's a very small loss right there. And of course, the uh, the other self stop was triggered over here, and it made me more pips than what I've lost. I've actually added a, another reversal trade here because this was a big uh, bearish candle to the downside that closes back inside the range. Uh, it's off topic again, so I'm not gonna go through this trade here. But let's just talk about the sell trade I made here. Okay, so small loss, bigger win. Another example. Okay, you can see uh, where I placed them initially. And one last example, let's talk about the uh, XAUUSD gold. I've had a bullish uh, bias because I was looking at how price formed into a range here. And if you just see how strongly the bulls have bounced off the support line, okay, the H1 is showing a V-shaped reversal, a really strong bounce. Okay, so uh, I, I was looking at price going to the upside. And on the M15, it's formed an ascending triangle. Okay, I did not trade the XAUUSD, but I'm just showing it to you. For example purposes if i had traded it i would probably have gotten along here with a buy stop over here and i would probably place my sell stop somewhere here okay so um this is what happened here guys breaks to the upside which turns out to be a fake out went back down to retest this trend line okay my stop loss may have been hit or not depending on whether I've moved them okay but most likely I would have moved them to protect my profits like what I did for my EU and GU okay and my sell stop wouldn't have gotten hit here but I'll take a small loss here but what I do again is place another buy stop so as long as price is still trapped within that range it could still break to the upside right it doesn't have to uh to be the case of it failing to break to the upside and instead it moved to the downside okay so as long as it's still in the range okay there's still that chance that it could break either way and that's my point of this whole video we let price tell us what to do and just follow along and in which case, you'd probably make some nice profits uh, off this move. Okay guys, uh, if you've come this far, thanks for watching the video. Those are the reasons why I like to trade breakouts. And I've outlined the uh, pros and cons for you. I leave it to you guys to agree or disagree 
leave me a comment um whatever it is i hope you've made a difference in your trading best of luck as always don't forget to like my video and subscribe i'll talk to you guys soon peace yeah.